breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Kuriwa begs CJN to bring in European judge to preside over Unam de Kanu case. Protest court refusal to grant bail to IPOB leader. Uriwa begs CJN to bring in European judge to preside over Unam de Kanu's case. Protest court refusal to grant bail to IPOB leader. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. A civil rights group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria Uriwa, on Wednesday, protested the refusal of the bill application filed by the detained leader of the now proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Unam Dekano by the trial judge. The group noted that the decision is a predictable outcome, but nevertheless tragic in dimensions. Kuriwa therefore declared that unless Nigeria brings in a European judge, with special waiver to entertain the case instituted by President Muhammad Buhari's administration against IPOB and Mazi Unam Dekano. It is impracticable for any Nigerian judge to deliver justice and fairness to the prisoner of conscience. Huriwa alleged that the current administration has committed colossal funds and human resources, including alleged bribery of foreign government and organizations to adopt adversarial positions against Mazi Unamdekano and IPOP, just as the rights group said locally, the government has succeeded in using divide and rule tactics to brainwash the oi poloi in the Muslim north to perceive IPOP or Indigo as enemies of the Fulanese. The group reiterated, so it will take either a European judge or an unusual judicial miracle for Mazi Unam de Kano to obtain fear hearing as provided for in a plethora of constitutional provisions because for the president, Muhammad Buwaril and his allies, Unam Dikano and IPOB are guilty until they prove themselves to the contrary and the judge agrees. A civil rights group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Kuriwa, on Wednesday protested the refusal of the bill application filed by the detained leader of the now prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Unamdekano by the trial judge. The group noted that the decision is a predictable outcome by but nevertheless tragic in dimensions. Kuriwa Therefore, declared that unless Nigeria brings in a European judge with special waiver to entertain the case instituted by President Muhammad Buhari's administration against IPOB and Mazi Unam Dekanu, it is impracticable. It is impracticable for any Nigerian judge to deliver justice and fairness to the prisoner of conscience. Uriwa alleged that the current administration has committed colossal funds and human resources, including alleged bribery of foreign government and organizations to adopt adversarial positions 
against Mazi, Unam Dekano and IPOP, just as the right group said locally. The government has succeeded in using divide and rule tactics to brainwash the oil polloi in the Muslim north to perceive IPOP or Indibo as enemies of the Fulanese. The group reiterated, so it will take either a European judge or an unusual judicial miracle for Mazi Unamdekanu to obtain fair hearing as provided for in a plethora of constitutional provisions because for President Muhammad Buhari and his allies, Unamdekanu and IPOB are guilty until they prove themselves to, to the contrary and the judge agrees. A civil rights group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, on Wednesday protested the refusal of the bill application filed by the detained leader of the now prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Mazi Unamdekano by the trial judge. The group noted that the decision is a predictable outcome but nevertheless tragic in dimensions. Kuriwa therefore declared that unless Nigerian brings in a European judge with special waiver to entertain the case instituted by President Muhammad Buhari's administration against IPOB and Mazi Unam Dekanu, it is impracticable for any Nigerian judge to deliver justice and fairness to the prisoner of conscience. Uriwa alleged that the current administration has committed colossal funds and human resources, including alleged bribery of foreign government and organizations, to adopt adversarial positions against Mazi Unam Dekano and IPOB, just as the right group said locally, the government has succeeded in using divide and rule tactics to brainwash the oil polloi in the Muslim North to perceive IPOB and Indibo as enemies of the Fulanese. So my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news.